Good morning everyone. Today, I'm going to be discussing Staphylococcus epidermidis, a bacteria found on the human skin. We will explore its habitat, morphology, biochemical characteristics, host range, diagnosis, prevention, and treatment. Let's get started. Staphylococcus epidermidis is a gram-positive bacterium of the Staphylococcus genus. It normally lives in human skin and mucous membranes, forming part of the human microbiota. Recent studies have suggested that it may have implications for health and disease. Staphylococcus epidermidis is commonly found on our skin, mucous membranes, and other areas of our body including the nasal cavity, oral cavity, and urogenital tract. It is an essential part of our normal microbiota, aiding our bodies in fighting off potential pathogens that may cause harm. Staphylococcus epidermidis is a common bacterium appearing under a microscope as round-shaped clusters resembling grapes. These clusters typically measure 0.5 to 1.5 micrometers in diameter. Staphylococcus epidermidis is a gram-positive, coagulase-negative bacterium that can grow on various culture media, such as blood agar and mannitol salt agar. Colonies of this bacterium are usually small, white, smooth, and opaque. Staphylococcus epidermidis is a gram-positive, coagulase-negative bacterium belonging to the Staphylococci family. It is catalase-positive, able to ferment glucose, but not mannitol. It is mainly found in humans but also present in animals and the environment. Glucose fermentation will result in acid production. This is a brief overview of the biochemical characteristics of Staphylococcus epidermidis. Staphylococcus epidermidis is a gram-positive, non-modal, non-spore-forming bacterium that inhabits the normal human skin flora. Culture and identification of its characteristic morphology and biochemical properties are required for diagnosis, while molecular methods such as PCR and DNA sequencing can also be employed. These techniques allow for quick and accurate identification of Staphylococcus epidermidis. Good hygiene practices, such as frequent handwashing, are the best way to prevent the spread of Staphylococcus epidermidis. Medical equipment and surfaces must also be properly sterilized to minimize the risk of contagion. Paying attention to these practices is essential to protect yourself and those around you. Staphylococcus epidermidis infections can be treated with antibiotics, although there may be a risk of antibiotic resistance. Surgical intervention may also be necessary to remove infected tissue or devices.